Hello everyone, it's Elena and today I'm finally doing another Cambridge vlog. It's been a really really long time because our break was super super long. Um, but it's first day today so lectures are starting again. And um, yeah, I have my first lecture at 10, it's 8 o'clock now so I'm gonna go and grab some breakfast. Then I'm gonna go to the faculty and just do some readings and yeah, then I'm gonna have my first lectures of the term. I just got back so um, after my lectures ended at 1 I had lunch with my friends and I don't know we just spent like quite a long time in buttery so now it's 2 and um, I think I'm gonna do um, a bit of like reading just like for myself and then I'm gonna get back to the readings I actually have to do um, so what I'm planning to do is that I'm planning to like, work on my constitutional law readings because constitutional law is a lot for this um, supervision I think it's probably like around like 500 pages or something um so i really like need to work through it because it's not like you can just like read it really quickly you actually like need to read it very carefully enough you need to like reread it because those are quite like complex concepts that are discussed in those articles so that's why like i know i'm gonna like need um quite a bit of time to work through it the other thing is I'm leaving Cambridge tomorrow morning and I'm going to Germany for the entire weekend because I have a selection weekend for a scholarship and I'm quite excited for going there it's just that I kind of have to take all my work with me and I just have to like hope that I'm gonna have some free time there so I can actually do it because I don't want to fall behind here so yeah the timing isn't that great um, but I'm nonetheless excited for going to Germany so yeah but that's the plan for now um, and yeah I just made myself like a little cup of tea um, so and then I'm just gonna read my book I just started this book this morning and it was amazing I don't know what else to say it was just great if you guys want to know more about the book I'm gonna link it in the description box but I absolutely love the start of this um, this is not sponsored in any way um, I just I don't know like telling you guys about the books I read because I just read a lot and um, if I come across a good one I thought I'd just share it um, I don't know if the ending is going to be good, but um, I don't know, the, you read like the first two sentences and the book just immediately has your attention because it's so well written. So yeah, it's a very interesting storyline um, and yeah, that's all I can say. So now I'm going to read for like half an hour, I'm going to drink some tea and then I'm going to do work. for most of the afternoon and then I found out that I'm gonna have an interview in like an hour um, because I applied to work um, at an MUN conference and yeah let's see if that works out it would be really really cool um, but I wasn't really prepared for this because they just messaged me today um, so yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna eat dinner then I'm gonna read over the application that I sent to them just so I know again like what I said and what they might ask me and yeah, then I'm going to pack my bags because tomorrow morning I'm going to leave quite early um, to get to the airport. So I'm probably like going to leave college around like, I don't know, like 6.15 or something like that. That's what I'm aiming for. So yeah, that's the plan for now. I just had my call and it went really, really good because they told me that I have the position. So that's really, really amazing. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be like an interview and then like they would maybe tell me like in a few days whether I got me or not um so this is really really great um and I'm super super happy about it because I somehow like didn't get involved with MUN when I came to university and for those of you who don't know MUN is Model United Nations and I did it in high school and I absolutely loved it and so I like tried to like find um you know like some group where I could get involved and so I'm really really happy that this worked out 
But now I actually gotta really start packing because um, I'm getting worried. I just need to get this done and then I wanna take a shower and sleep. Um, because I just like looked at the trains and it looks like I have to be at the station at like 6.10. That's great. That's amazing. So yeah. Right now what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go and I take my packing list and basically follow it. Um, I would highly recommend doing this by the way. Um, this is like a life hack. <laughs> my version of life hacks. So yeah, like take like, I don't know, 20 minutes of your life and write down everything you like bring on a trip. This is my list. And this list has honestly saved me so many times because I just don't need to think about what I need to bring. I just take this list and I just, you know, pack accordingly. And then I have like a summer and winter, you know, additional list just like, so I pack some stuff which I would just bring on a summer vacation or a winter vacation, but that's it. And it just makes your life so much easier because you know exactly what to pack and you don't need to think um, before every journey and make a new list. So yeah, I would highly recommend doing something like that. did it and there's actually quite a lot of space in here so this should all definitely fit and this should close relatively easily so yeah that should work well I'm glad I did this and this actually went a lot quicker than I thought so that's great so now I'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys it's 5 20 and I'm basically just gonna run out and yeah get a cab and then go to the station but yeah I'm really happy that I made this in time so I think I'm gonna make my 610 train and so I'm going to be absolutely fine. And yeah, everything fit into my bag this morning, which was great. And then I just have my other bag. And I have to bring all this stuff because I need to do quite some work. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I gotta remember to hand this in because if I'm leaving college, I need to like officially leave. So you see, this is like a very like vintage looking thing. Um, but basically I just like need to hand this in at the Porter's Lodge so that they know that I'm gone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's that. So I'm gonna hand this in and then I'm just gonna wait for my cab. Okay, so I made it to Germany and this is the room. So I think someone else is gonna come. They're just not here yet. But this looks so good. Like, honestly, like for a selection weekend, this is like pretty fancy. Like, I didn't expect that. So I'm very, very happy. Oh, do we have a bathroom? Yes, oh my gosh. Okay, we have our own bathroom, which is great. Um, <laughs> that always makes me really happy. But yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that the room turned out like this and that we have a desk so that I can do my constitutional readings. Okay, I'm really happy that I'm here now because I'm really, really tired. Um, I didn't think it would be so exhausting to just come here, but I, because I had two flights and I basically had to run through the entire airport of Amsterdam because literally my arrival gate was at this end of the airport and my departure gate was like here. Uh, so I spent my entire time which, in which I was supposed to have lunch um, walking through this airport, um, carrying my quite heavy cabin baggage. Um, so that was great. Um, so basically I just slept through the flight. Um, so yeah, but I'm still kind of tired. Um, and I think it was just like the stress of like, will I find this place? Um, which luckily I did. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I'm not really gonna vlog this weekend. I think, um, basically I'm just gonna say goodbye to you guys now and um, I'm gonna see you when I'm back in Cambridge because uh, I wouldn't you know film like during any of the activities anyway um, and the rest is just gonna be me probably like obsessing over my answers or um, trying to do my constitutional law readings uh, so I definitely will be a very interesting you know weekend for you guys to see so uh, yeah see you guys in Cambridge and I'm back in Cambridge um, it's like 8 o'clock now, I'm gonna go and get breakfast and then I'm probably just gonna um, go to Sainsbury's on my way to lectures and just get some food because I have a meeting at 4 which is near my faculty so I don't want to like walk back to college and then go back to the faculty um, because that would kind of be a waste of my time. So that's kind of the plan and I'm quite tired um, because I made it back to college after midnight because my flight arrived at like 9 at London Heathrow and then it was just like quite a long travel to Cambridge. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do like a more chill morning. I'm just going to get my breakfast and eat it in my room. And then I'm going to go and, you know, read over the lecture notes um, that one of my friends sent me because I missed two lectures because I went um, to Germany on Friday. 
and yeah that's pretty much the plan for now that i'm gonna go um i have two lectures today um and then i have a meeting later on in the afternoon and what i'm planning to do is to just do as much readings for constitutional law in between as i can because the reading list is so much and i'm just scared that i can't finish it because it's just so long and i just really don't know like where to fit in all of these readings so yeah I'm just hoping to get as much done as I can. later in the day it's almost nine o'clock now and um, I've just been doing a lot of readings for constitutional law and I had my meeting for the Cambridge University Human Rights Law Society and I'm back in my room now and I'm still doing readings um, because that constitutional law reading list it just doesn't end um, I'm on page 22 out of like 90 um, from one of the readings um, so yeah we're getting there guys um, progress <laughs> so yeah that's what I've been up to basically all day also, you may have realized that I wasn't in my usual spot in the law library um, when I studied. That's because the law faculty doesn't exactly have heating, um, so it's not like it's very comfortable there at the moment. Um, but luckily, the lecture theaters, um, they somehow managed to heat those, so it's much more comfortable in there. But it's quite cold in the rest of the faculty, so yeah. That's why I studied in the university library and I actually loved the place like it was so nice I was in the main reading room and it was gorgeous so I might actually go back I like it and it's close to the law faculty it's like a five minute walk so definitely considering that so yeah I also realized I didn't tell you guys anything about the weekend <laughs> I just went straight back into my Cambridge life um, so I think the weekend was fine it was quite interesting I met a lot of really really cool people um, I'm glad I was there um, and yeah, now I have to wait for like a week and they're gonna mail the decisions to us Which is quite interesting because everything that I applied for so far um, I got my decision per email. So this is the first time I'm actually getting a letter um, And I have to wait for it and I don't just get an email which tells me we accepted you or we rejected you um, So yeah, it's kind of different. I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know if it went well or not I feel like you can't really tell with those things um, but yeah, it was an interesting weekend um, and I had a lot of fun and so I'm glad I went. Um, although now of course it's going to be a bit more stressful for me this week because I didn't have the weekend to work. Um, although I did do some readings but obviously uh, you know when you're in this process then you are also so busy like your thoughts are always you know on your next interview. So it's a lot harder to you know be efficient with your work. But yeah. It was okay, I think. Um, and I think I'm gonna manage to finish my constitution reading list, so that's great. And yeah, and I also thought this was a good time to end the vlog. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, do maybe like 10 or 15 more minutes of reading, and then I'm also gonna go to sleep, because I really need sleep after today. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first Cambridge vlog in Lent term. Let me know if you guys would like to have more Cambridge vlogs from me, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, bye!